I'm Paul Chang. I lead the Ocean Surface Wind Science Team in the satellite service uh, side of NOAA. Uh, basically called NESIS, National Environmental Satellite Data and Information Service. We're conducting an experiment up in Anchorage, Alaska this winter looking for ocean winter storms and sea ice. Our objectives are to fly remote sensing equipment that we have installed on the P3. Our goal is to support the validation and the product development of satellite-based instruments that are similar but different. And then we also provide data in real time to the National Weather Service off the P3. We do this during hurricane season, but also during the winter storms. And the P3 allows us to go focus on the extremes. So we, in the hurricane season, we go collect data at the ocean surface and through the atmosphere in tropical cyclones. In winter, we're looking to do similar things, but in winter storms, which are you know, different than hurricanes, but can be just as destructive to coastal communities. The main instruments we're flying is we have a radar altimeter system, dual frequency, operating a KU and KA band. And we also have a conically scanning dual frequency Doppler radar system operating at C-band and KU-band. Those frequencies are similar to the satellite-based instruments. And with the Doppler radar system, we can also, along with being able to measure reflectivity from rain in the atmosphere and the resulting winds from that by measuring the Doppler velocity to rain, we can also measure the ocean surface roughness and infer ocean wind speed and direction via traditional scatterometry techniques. A lot of it's weather dependent. So we'll watch out for the stronger ocean storms as they come up into the Bering Sea or Gulf of Alaska. And if they're within reach of the P3, we'll go and try target the higher wind regimes of those. The gap wind events are not necessarily related to a big ocean storm. It's more when you get that pressure gradient with the topography. And so, you know, those can happen in say, nicer weather conditions. Because one of the challenges with the ocean storms, as they, especially as they come into the Gulf of Alaska, is that but well, we have to take off and be able to come back and land in Anchorage. And if it brings too much bad weather on shore, that can become uh, challenging. And our other objective is to fly over a sea ice. What we're really trying to do is look at the transition zone between the ocean and the ice edge. One of our main objectives is the validation and improvement of satellite-based remote sensing products for the ocean surface winds and waves. The more we can understand what those instruments are really measuring in the extremes that we can find in the strong ocean winter storms and measurements along the coastal region into the ice edge and ocean transition zone, the better the forecast, the, the, the warnings that need to be issued for people living on the coast or, or, or the fisheries, people fishing or doing things out on the ocean, the better more information they have, the better they can prepare and the better they can avoid things as necessary to help you know, save lives and property.